Welcome to Theotrade. My name is Don Kaufman. In this video, we're going to be talking about probabilities in trading. Now, that happens to be a rather vast, vast topic to discuss probabilities in trading here, but think of this as a little bit of a introduction to really how probabilities kind of impact you in trading and where you really need to consider probabilities in your trading. So to explain a little bit about probabilities, um, I've brought up an example here in Think or Swim. It's uh, Starbucks. Okay, The underlying price right now is sitting right around uh, $60.94, down about a, almost a buck on the day. And to explain a bit about probabilities kind of in trading, I'm going to use options. Now, in watching this, it's not a necessity that you understand options, okay? It's it's just not a huge necessity, but options are really based on probability. The option price itself is nothing more than a probability. Probability of what? Well, probability of going up, probability of going down. And to explain though a bit about probabilities, we're going to use the option chain itself. Now, First and foremost, <clears throat> we're going to switch one of the information layouts here in the trade tab on Thinkorswim over to options, theoreticals, and Greeks. And the reality is there's information layouts specifically for probability in the money, probability of touching, probability out of the money. Let's just use in this case probability ITM. That's probability in the money. Now, again, if you're not familiar with some option terminology. It's neither here nor there. What I want you to be able to see is that, so we have this stock almost on 61, okay? And if you look at the 61 calls, 61 calls, what are they? What's the right to buy the stock at 61? And then you take a look right over here opposing puts it's the 61 puts what's that okay that's the right to do what sell the stock at 61 so what do you want to do do you want to buy the stock at 61 do you want to sell the stock at 61 well that's neither here nor there for probabilities in trading okay and really understanding probabilities in trading what we want to focus on okay is the equivalent nature of the chances of us going, for instance, up are almost identical to the chances of us going down. So in this case, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to freeze my screen. And I want to just highlight, again, these puts okay, versus these calls. And let's not even worry about the definitions of a put or a call. Because we want to look at, again, when I say the equivalency, here's the market pretty much at 61 and if you take a look again we're 10 cents off 61 on the button and the marketplace is pricing in well it's almost a 50 percent chance of going up and almost a 50 percent chance of going down so the important portion of that is probabilities in trading are not okay are not telling you that we're going to go up or we're going to go down. It's quite the opposite. The probability and the way the probabilities work, it's saying 50-50. Uh, now, why is there a slight higher probability over here on the put side? Well, it's because the stock is not perfectly at 61. But if the stock were like right at 61, all the stars are aligned, the probability of us going up okay, is pretty much identical to the probability of us going down. So why is this important? It's important, okay, and I'll unfreeze the screen here momentarily. It's important to start to get a feel that, you know, the option market, okay, and and stocks in general and the entire marketplace is, okay, nothing more than statistics, mathematics, and probability. So for example, if you came to me and said, you know, I think, Don, that Starbucks in the next seven days, and now I'm actually defining a time frame over here just to make this a little easier to kind of interpret, 
I think in the next seven days, Don, that Starbucks is going to go to 62. You're like, okay, I'm going to turn around and say 28% chance. Let's round it. 29. Let's get crazy. You know, it's like a 29% probability. And you go, how could you possibly know that? Because the options within Starbucks chain, okay, are defining that. Now, you have to ask yourself, like, do I trust the options? I, I don't really know very much about options, okay? And I'll say this to you. There are hundreds of millions of dollars trading in these option markets. And when people, like, they kind of question, like, well, are, you know, the options priced uh, <clears throat> effectively? And the answer is, if anything is, like, quote-unquote, overpriced, like, I, I don't like that term. When somebody comes in and they say, yeah, those options are overpriced. What are they, crazy? What, the entire marketplace is wrong and they're right? Okay, could that be? I, I don't think so. Like, I think it's a pretty efficient marketplace. But for something to be, quote unquote, overpriced, okay, and the option in this moment in time, don't worry about, you know, like six months from now, Starbucks could be trading at $30. You'd be like, oh, that stock was overpriced. Yeah. But in this second, in this moment in time, this is the most efficient price that the marketplace can come up with. And the marketplace is buyers and sellers. It's not market makers, okay? It's computer systems. It's you at home. Anybody that's willing to buy or sell this option is part of the marketplace. And for a second, if anything is overpriced, you sell it. And if anything is underpriced, traders would buy it. So again, for all intents and purposes, at this moment in time, you better assume that that probability Okay, it's pretty accurate because probability is based on the option price. And again, even if you've had no options experience, okay, respect what the option market is telling you there. So you look out to the, the probability of us going to 62 and you're like, well, that's, that's only like a dollar move up. And, you know, the probability of moving up a dollar, you're like, oh, that's not, not, not very good, is it? But then you look at the probability of us, for instance, going down a dollar, probability is a little bit better little bit better. Why? Again, it's because the stock is not right smack at 61. But okay, what I want you to start to see, and I'll freeze the screen again over here, what I want you to start to see that option pricing is actually based on one of these guys, this distribution curve. And it kind of says what? Here we are right smack on 61. It says what's the chance of going to what? 60 two versus what's the chance of going to where? 60. And it's going to price those the same. Okay. And then it goes, well, what's the probability of going here versus here or here versus here? And you start to actually build, okay, this distribution of probability. And then lo and behold, okay, lo and behold, you can even chart this if you wanted to. So here I go. I'm going to the charts. Oh, charts. How exciting. So what I'd want to do in this particular case is I'm just going to pull up a nine-month chart. That's just a nine-month chart on Starbucks. And I'm going to go up to studies, okay, and go over here to add study. And there's a study under volatility studies in Thinkorswim. Okay, come up to probability of expiring cone. And what this does is it's a probability cone. It's exactly what I just kind of drew a moment ago. And I'll even zoom into the probability cone so we can get a better feel for it. And again, freeze my screen and just take you through this. It's just giving us the probability of going up versus the probability of going down, the probability of being here versus the probability of there. Look at the marketplace. Okay, as an equal opportunity, if you will, and trades that you create, check the probabilities. Again, even if you have no intention of trading the options, how can you trade the stock thinking to myself like, hey, I think the stock is going to go to uh, <clears throat> 62 in the next seven days. And then if you looked at that down below and you said like, oh, yeah, there's a, <clears throat> about a 30% probability of that happening. I don't know if you're going to consider that trade, you know, or do something even crazier. Go 35 days out and 35 days out, you know, what's the probability of Starbucks getting to 70? You know, because there's always some analyst that goes, oh, yeah, it's going to 70. Yeah, well, the marketplace says right now that there's about a 2% chance of that happening. So what do you tell your analysts? 
tell them, yeah, that's great. That's that's a two percent chance. I really like your uh, your odds over there. But this is again the introduction, the probability in trading. Much more to come here at Theo Trade along the lines of probability.